Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and in today's video we're going to be discussing how I think Ladybug and Cat Noir will finally work out what Monarch Daddy has been up to with all these new powers for his Akuma victims this season. However, before I continue, as always, I haven't read the show Bible, nor have I seen any of the leaks for the show, and I'm not exactly sure what has been leaked, but from what I've heard about, it sounds like it has descended into Hell's Eighth Dimension. So, um, I don't know the actual answer how Ladybug and Cat Noir are going to find this out, assuming they will, because I really don't see the season ending without them knowing, to be honest. Um, but I really appreciate it if you could all be quiet and not tell me how they work it out or anything else to do with the show that hasn't been an episode that has been officially released. Okay, a lot of people, like, I keep getting messages on Instagram saying, oh hey, is the trailer for like this episode has been released? I'm like, no, a random trailer that's been edited together by someone who doesn't work for the show has used leaked clips to put together a trailer. That is not an official trailer, okay? So the only episodes that are out officially, episodes 1 to 10, episode 12, episode 16, then 18, 19, 20. That is it. If you have seen anything from any of the other episodes in between, you have seen a leak. And I would really appreciate it, and I know it's not always easy, but I'd really appreciate it if you didn't look at the leaks just out of respect for the show. So this video is going to be a theory video, and obviously all of the speculation is done from information I have gleaned from the episodes I have seen and just random thoughts I have had through talking to other people and reading through my comment section. So if this theory isn't 100% correct, I don't want to know. I don't want you to tell me I'm 100% right, I'm 100% wrong, this happens instead. I don't want to know. I am quite happy waiting until the episode or wherever it happens in comes out officially, okay? I don't want to know the answer and a lot of people watch me because they haven't seen the leaks and don't want to see the answer either. So if you can please respect that and not leave leaks in the comments, that would be wonderful besties. Thank you. So, like I said, this video is made with the assumption that Marina and Adrian finally work out what Monarch Daddy has been doing and manage to get some, if not all, the miraculous is back off him, which I am assuming will happen by the end of the season, but perhaps I'm just putting far too much faith in their intelligence. <laughs> so if we go back to when the episode titles first released, you know, on that lovely Sunday I was having, thinking I could relax because season four was finally over. I could finally take some time for myself. But then the universe said no because it hates me and we got all the episode titles at once, which, fun fact, I still haven't learnt. <laughs> I did initially think that, yep, Ladybug and Cat Noir are going to be getting one Miraculous back each episode, as in the episodes that are named after the powers, so evolution, multiplication, stuff like that. But then I was like, no, not even Gabriel Babes is that stupid. And as we saw, he lost the rabbit miraculous in episode one, Evolution. Then he had a brain transplant. And after destruction, he enlisted Tom away to make him some rings with the best Bluetooth connection the world has ever seen. So due to his mahoosive brain moments, it means Ladybug and Cat Noir haven't been able to get any more than the rabbit back. But they had ample opportunity during this scene in Evolution and this part of destruction, like... I don't know why they didn't grab more, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> God's sake. So, like I said, Adrian and Marinette will work this out eventually, I think. I hope. I think we've all been made aware that this season is going to be the end of the Aggress arc, which I initially thought was like, oh, okay, Gabriel, babe, he's going to go to prison. But now I'm like, the bloke's going to die. Either way, whatever happens to him, prison, death, or a funky ankle bracelet that tracks his every move, in order to defeat him, Ladybug and Cat Noir do need to work out what he's been doing by the end of the season, if they're going to have any chance of defeating him. And even though Marinette, nor Adrian, or even Alia have vocalised it, but Revelation, in my opinion, is the good first stepping stone where the seeds of suspicion would have been sown in one of their minds at the very least. And we'll get them thinking that there's more going on with the Alliance Rings. So in Revelation, Lila was akumatised and her Akuma object was the Alliance Ring and everyone who wore one was influenced by it. This transmission between people could finally make Agent and Marinette suspicious about the rings and on top of that, Marinette does also have extra information too. So in episode four, Jubilation, Soculine, I'm still not sure how to say her name. I haven't actually seen most of these episodes in English. Um, I've only actually seen them in French or Portuguese. That's very strange, isn't it? I don't know why I've done that. <laughs> but anyway, Soculine or Jacqueline, the girl who works at the art shop in Jubilation, was framed for being Ladybug as Marinette wore her alliance to defeat an Akuma villain, which Marinette was made aware of in the episode, hence why she rejected the ring her mum bought for her. And even though we haven't seen Deflagration yet, I'm not even sure how to say the name of that episode, episode 11, the other part of Kwame's choice, 
I would assume Alia and Zoe are also taken out the same way, as at the end of transmission, Gabriel Babes is very, very happy to get the notification on his ring about the abnormal speeds and distances. Although I'm still hazy on how he managed to get that scan of his wife. Did he just always have it on file in case he ended up doing this once in his life, you know, as like a weird midlife crisis? Or did he and Natalie carry a dead body upstairs to where they had the scans? And I do actually want to know the answer to this question, quite desperately actually. I, I, my life will not be complete without knowing this. <laughs> Either way, the Alliance has proved once for definite in Jubilation that it tracked Ladybug and I'm assuming that the same thing will happen in episode 11 to Alia and Zoe since they both wear one. And Lila being akumatized with the Alliance and Revelation will hopefully make Marinette finally suspicious and she will go back to all previous instances of akumatization this season to look for more evidence. With the exception of two villains, all the Akuma villains that we've seen have had an extra power. For example, in Multiplication, Ikari Gozen had her normal size and strength, along with the Mouse Miraculous. In Jubilation, the Dark Owl had his usual Dark Owl powers, plus the Pig. In Determination, Veronique could bring the statues to life, but also was impervious to attacks. In Passion, Natalie was given the Goat to go with her Hunter powers. In Elation, Andre was given the Tiger along with the Ice Cream powers, because that's a thing and it's a thing because I said so. Illusion was a bit different since Gabriel, the real Gabriel, was using several powers, but the illusion Ladybug and Cat Noir saw that Gabriel was only using the Horse Miraculous along with the Collector powers. In Perfection, Kagami was given the power of ignoring everyone and oh my god, be nice and share that with me, <laughs> as well as the Dragon powers. Then in Protection, Kagami again was given her usual powers as Riposte plus the Turtle's power. And then finally, Lila in Revelation was given the Technology powers as well as the Fox. They all had their usual power when they got akumatized plus a Miraculous power but only one miraculous power. However, like I said, there are two exceptions to this. So, Bibu in episode 10, uh, is that how you say his name? I'm not sure. And Tomoe in episode 19 were both exceptions to this rule, with Bibu getting the turtle, tiger, mouse, horse, and ox, and Tomoe getting mouse, rooster, bee, and horse. I think. I don't know. I get confused between all the different powers sometimes. <laughs> now, Tomoe alone isn't enough to make them suspicious, as well she put on extra rings, as we saw in the car, and the viewer saw Ladybug and Cat Noir didn't and they all blended together into one ring when she was akumatized. So in that case, let's talk about the person who was akumatized in transmission. He visibly had on, whilst he was akumatized, five rings. So therefore, five powers. Marina and Adrian know everyone at school only wears one alliance ring because why do you need more than one? You absolutely don't. There's no reason why you'd need more than one. I don't know. And they know each person who has been akumatized in this season of the show. And they all know they only wear one alliance ring. But they know that this guy had five of them on and also had five powers. There is a direct correlation here. Everyone else wears one alliance ring. When they get akumatized, gets one miraculous power. This guy had five on, got akumatized, got five powers. And while we don't know this for sure, but Gabriel Babes only seems interested in akumatizing people who are wearing an alliance ring, as it seemingly is the reason why he initially doesn't akumatize Adrian in transmission. It would seem everyone he has akumatized this season has an alliance so he can give them that extra power to make them more powerful and more likely to succeed. I think Alia being akumatized with the Alliance will start these suspicions and will force Marinette to think back on all these other occasions, like the events of Jubilation and Transmission, and they will finally get suspicious towards Gabriel Babes and also possibly Tom Away, since she in part also owns the Alliance rings. And I know Gabriel Babes has seemingly cleared his name like three times now, first in The Collector, then in Daddy Agrest, and then in Illusion, but Marinette has also evaded being found out, like in Kwame Buster, and so has Adrian in episodes like Desperada and Gar Zilla. They both know it's possible to get around their identity being revealed. And with the actual identity reveal hopefully coming this season, they can probably work this out together too, assuming this all happens after they've had their identity reveal. I do think Alia could help out too, but after Revelation, eh, I'm not so sure how much help she'll actually be. And I also don't think they can trust the resistance thing that Nino put together since Lila is on it and everyone seems to be on her side as echoed by the Revelation end card. Adrian and Marinette look like they're going to be on their own for the most part in dealing with this, but I am holding out hope that the rest of the class will come through. With the exception of Adrian and Alia, everyone else seems to have known Marinette before the show started, so perhaps other than Chloe, 
I'm hoping they will all see through Lila and help Mariner out in some way, especially Alia. You're meant to be best friends and you know she's Ladybug. She's gonna need you, <laughs> okay? So there you go, besties. That's what I think. Like I said, if I'm completely wrong and you know what happens, I don't want to know. So if you can please keep that out in the comments, that would be wonderful. But for the rest of you, I'd love to know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.